Technology plays a large part in what water and wastewater systems do. It, it's always been there, uh, just from running a treatment plant to uh, you know, running uh, water lines. Uh, it's, it's always been there. But what's changed in the last few years is the cost of using something like ArcGIS Online has really decreased. So now you don't have to have a GIS professional. You don't have to have a very expensive computer. Uh, you don't have to have uh, $10,000 worth of software. Utilities can now utilize ArcGIS Online inexpensively and it's very easy to use. So here at Lebanon, every member utilizes ArcGIS Online via their phone or via an iPad. Uh, so every person that does their job can utilize that and that's really important. It's not just used by two or three people, it's used by the whole staff and it allows access to information to really be transferred at a rate that is just unbelievable. Because now there's no paper work orders, right? You can, when somebody in the field fixes something, the person in the office can see that right away. We utilize ArcGIS Online as our online GIS program. Uh, we do use some desktop GIS programs, uh, as such as Arc Pro and Arc Map and Arc Catalog, but usually those are just for uh, the GIS administrators. Most of the staff utilizes ArcGIS Online in their daily uh, routines. And so what I'll do here is I'll bring up what we call their home page. And so anybody that logs into their account, it takes them to this page right here. So you can see what we do is we have what we call dashboards. What dashboards do is it's a product of ArcGIS Online. So some people might want to use Collector, which shows them locations in the field. It, it shows them where they're at, shows them where the water meter is at. It's really easy to access information and find stuff. Dashboards is something to display that information in a usable way to the people in the office or, or Darren, for example, the superintendent that needs to access information. So we just came from the water treatment plant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a dashboard that we call the Mandy. Every hour, uh, Jordan and Josh, who is at the plant today, they put in the hourly readings from the treatment plant. And they do it through a survey that is connected through ArcGIS Online called Survey123, it's one of their applications. And all that information goes right here. And this is update hourly. So we can see tank elevations, we can see uh, the status of filters, we can see a lot of information. So that puts that information at Darren's fingertips here in the office. He doesn't need to call down to the treatment plant, he doesn't need to look at Excel files, he doesn't need to look at the notebook. He can see real-time information of what's going on.